Hi planners, thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel. It's me, Chloe from Chloe Tree Plans, and I'm super excited to be bringing you my very first Clean With Me vlog. I'm excited to be bringing this to you in 2021. I told you that I would have new videos for the new year and that I was going to be switching it up a little bit with my lifestyle content. So I'm not done with planners, I'm still Chloe Tree Plans, so I will still be bringing you a lot of planner videos this year, but I wanted to mix it up a little bit and show you a little bit more about what I'm doing when I'm planning my life. I'm always showing you my planner. I'm always showing you how I use my planner. And I just also wanna show you how I'm scheduling out that time and what I'm actually doing and some of the tips that I have as to how to make your life smoother, not only with your planner, but also in the kitchen, in the home, and just showing some of the things that I do in my home so welcome um i appreciate you for watching if you are new welcome to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button in the bottom right corner and if you are true and blue and you're like chloe i've been subscribed i'm here for it welcome back thank you for tuning in and let's get into this video All right, so if you are excited about me doing some new content, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. When you like the videos, it lets YouTube know to keep pushing my content and to keep letting you all know when I have a new video. So go ahead and hit that thumbs up for me. So when it comes to cleaning my kitchen, for me, I get really frustrated when I see a lot of things on the counter. So my first objective is to get everything off the counters and into the dishwasher if there are any dishes that need to be cleaned so for me a dirty sink or a full sink or a full countertop are the things that kind of frustrate me so once I see that my counters are cleaned off I can kind of get into other things in the kitchen and cleaning my stove and things like that but for me it's removing the clutter because when I remove the clutter it makes it easier for me to move around so my first thing that I like to do is take everything off the counters and make sure that I have some room to actually clean so I like to get all of the counters cleaned off and then I can move on to sanitizing or organizing or whatever else it is I need to do with the microwave, the refrigerator and the stove. Sometimes even the dishwasher needs cleaning, um, the coffee makers. There are a lot of other things that need cleaning, but before I do that, I like to just clear the countertops off. So right now you're watching me clear off my countertops and I will show you what I sanitize them with. Right here, my husband is in the frame. He was doing a training online for work. I'm mentioning that because trust me, if he was not working actively, he would not be watching me clean the whole kitchen by myself. Um, he usually pitches in with dishes or putting things away. Like if the dishwasher is full and needs to be um, put away, he'll do that. Or he'll be taking out the trash or wiping something down. You know, teamwork makes things go by a lot faster. But in this case, his training needed his full attention. So I let him slide this time. So right now I'm just sanitizing the corner counter space with my towel. Now um, I am using a Norwex towel and these cloths are, they have microfiber that cleans really well, gets everything spotless and it also has antibacterial silver inside of the cloth. And so I rotate the sides of the cloth. That's what you saw me doing, folding it. I rotate the sides of the cloth to get everything nice and clean. And I love these towels because it doesn't require me to use a disinfectant spray or anything like that i'm able to just use the towel and hot water and the silver inside 
the towel helps me be able to disinfect or um, remove bacteria from the area so i really enjoy using these cloths um, if you're interested in the cloths and want to know more information you can comment below but i'll also have my link in the description below as well as anything else that i can think of to put in the description for you for your convenience so if you have any questions let me know but this is something that I use on all my counters and I also use it on my oven. And so after I'm done, I throw it in the washing machine, but um, that is what I use to sanitize my countertops, my fridge, my oven, and other things like that. I just grabbed my basket out of the dishwasher the basket that holds all of the silverware and I'm just filling in the little silverware separator that I have inside of my drawer and I just wanted to give y'all a little bit of a close-up so you weren't watching from afar the whole video I promise I'm going to do my best to get better with these videos as I go um, but I just wanted to you know get my feet wet and get into shooting this content for you all so let me know if this is something that you enjoy because I'll keep doing my best to get better angles. I'll be better prepared next time and I'll do my best to kind of show you close-ups while I'm cleaning. This little baby is a meat separator. I got it from Target, but I'll put the link in the description below if I can find it. You can like turn it and separate meat with it really easily. So I just wanted to show you that as I was putting it in the drawer. It has been a lifesaver in my house for any type of ground meat. So just wanted to share that. at home i hate when i have to unload the dishwasher and then also load it fully it's like the dishes are never done it's way better to go ahead and unload the dishwasher as soon as the dishes are ready to be unloaded because then you'll have some time in between unloading it and loading it back up but i feel like every time i go to unload my dishwasher it's only because i need to reload it so i'm trying to get better with that and better with having some time in between because otherwise i feel like i'm exhausted and i know that this may feel like a silly complaint because i do have a dishwasher to use but i just want to unload them sooner that is it that's my goal is so that when i'm loading the dishwasher i'm not also having to unload before i get started so that's just a personal goal of mine <laughs>
So I'm not sure if you can tell, but right now I'm just removing the burner grates from on top of the stove top and I'm putting them in the sink to let them soak for a bit. Um, and so I'm just going to clean those off really good. Sometimes when I'm cooking food gets stuck to them. So I do like to clean them off and then also I am taking them off so I can get to the actual stove. So I'm putting some Dawn dish detergent on the stove and then I have this thing it's kind of like steel wool, but it's not steel wool. It's called a spirinet. That's the name of it. They last a really long time. I can run it through the dishwasher. I can clean it really good. And what I love about it is that they don't rust like steel wool. I don't know about you, but whenever I use that, it rusts. So this is called a spirinet and it does not rust. And they are super inexpensive and they save me a lot of time when it comes to scraping off things off the dishes. It pretty much gets whatever caked on food off. And so, I like using that on my stove top because it just gets everything off um, and I don't have to worry about that caked on food not coming up. So I really love using the spearnet. I should have showed it to you more in the camera, but it literally is just like the most awesome thing and it's super cheap. So I love it. I'm never going back to regular steel wool. It is perfect and it doesn't scratch up my um, dishes. So I love it. <laughs> using my Norwex cloth to sanitize the stove top and get all that soap off rinse it off really good and get all the crevices make sure there's no food left behind and make sure there's no soap left behind on the surface <music> Now, this is my least favorite part. I have a little part of my wall behind my stove top that always gets hit with random food <laughs> items. And I mean, at the end of the day, I don't have a black a backsplash. So it does get a little bit messed up and oily from time to time and little grease splatters or water splatters or whatever that is. I don't even fry food on my stove, so I'm not really sure how that gets up there but somehow it manages to get up there and so what i do is i take my cloth and i put a little bit of dish soap to cut the grease and i gently scrub i can't scrub too hard because i don't want to damage the paint but i just scrub really lightly over the paint and i try to clean that area really well so that i no longer have those little spots on the wall because i don't want it damaging the paint it would be very helpful to have a backsplash <laughs> for this very reason <laughs> I'm going back in with my spearnet to clean those burner grates really good make sure I get all any grease or oil off of them this is probably my least favorite part of cleaning my kitchen just because it's kind of tedious and I don't know what it is but food really gets stuck to them I try my best to keep the food in the pot not on the stove but for whatever reason um, if food does fall on them I guess because of the heat it is stuck so I go ahead and I have to use my spearnet on each part just to make sure there's no food stuck on there and I do underneath too most of the time so it's a little bit of a process and then I also have to take a dry towel and dry them off which you know that's why I have a dishwasher because I don't want to dry off dishes but it is what it is <laughs> it's just part of the process of cleaning my stovetop <music> watched a clean with me video before this may sound pretty weird to you but i am obsessed 
with cleaning out the sink after I'm done cleaning the kitchen. It just gives me this satisfying feeling being able to scrub that sink really good and get all the food particles out of every piece. Um, obviously, if I could have somebody else do it, I would. But <laughs> I guess if I had to pick a favorite part of cleaning, this would be it because I know I'm almost done and I just enjoy seeing the sink spotless, not a dish in sight and super clean. So that's just part of my favorite part and of course using my spear net again it gets it really clean for whatever reason this basin just collects food in the corners and so it gets in those corners really well and makes sure that the entire sink is clean clean countertops i'm wiping off the last countertop and sanitizing it so i am done cleaning i just want to thank you so much for watching my very first clean with me video please show this video some love it took me a long time to edit this video so if you enjoy it i will consider doing another one please let me know in the comments show some love let me know share this with a friend like it let it play a couple times while you clean your house and so that you don't have to clean all alone it's kind of like we're cleaning together go ahead and play this video a couple times while you clean like this video comment and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing it helps my channel to continue to grow and i will see you all in the next video